So I wanted to just say thanks for being here. I love Ignite. It's such a cool feeling to be here. Um, the reason I'm here is I signed up, and they liked the idea, and then I had to find out why am I here. So it's to talk about, well, this one. Do you have parents? You might. Here's what's funny. You could have parents and also not have parents because some people aren't parents even though they're parents. <laughs> it's true. It's a mysterious thing. Something else is related is about feelings. I have feelings. I also used to hate feelings. I found them terribly, terribly difficult. They ruined everything. They hurt my heart all the time. I kind of thought, what the f are these about? Now, if you combine this idea that you may or may not have parents, you may literally have parents who may not have been good parents or are really good parents, and then you think about those parents and the feelings you have about them, it kind of is a little window into, well, what the word parenting means to you. I have had a lot of different parents. That sounds weird, right? Well, it's true. I had my mom. I had a dad. I didn't meet him until I was 25. I had other people. And then one day, I was sent to a group home. So what's a group home? Well, it's kind of where you go when parents don't do a very good job. You might end up driving by one, but you wouldn't know it because I was in Nevada, California on Sunnyside Lane. It was gorgeous. I wasn't quite eight. It looked like a regular place. There's a lot of kids running around, but uh, it was a group home, and I hated it. I actually really hated it. You know, it was kind of like, what the f is this? These aren't my family. Who are these kids? I don't know any of them. You know, I didn't like it. I got in trouble a lot. I started to throw tantrums. It's not an old word, a tantrum, but I threw a lot of them. And the parents were weird because they would show up and then they'd be different later. And someone would smoke inside all the time. And they didn't know how to cook, really. They kind of made hot dogs and cheese. Government cheese is real. <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble, and, you know, I wasn't alone, though. There were other kids getting in trouble, you know, so no big deal. Still didn't quite understand where I was or what was really going on. Eventually, some new parents arrived. Again, this isn't really good news. They're just more new weird people showed up. So this time it was a couple. That was different instead of it being, you know, one person. Their names were Peter and Nicole, and they were from Germany. Peter had dark brown hair and really kind eyes, and Nicole had lighter brown hair and a really sweet smile and a kind voice. And they were different. It seemed like things were different because of them. They were patient. And me and the other kids kind of were curious and a little standoffish and certainly not sure we liked them. But they gave us jobs to do in the house, and they created this sense that we were doing things together, sweeping, setting the table, that was my job, or just making sure that things were going all right and doing the dishes. It was Peter who taught me how to hang up a towel. That's very, very scientific. You take the edge, you roll it, then you put it on the hook, and it won't fall off. Now, when you're about eight, this is very, very amazing. Because of Peter and Nicole, something kind of happened one day that was really magical, not like Santa or getting adopted or anything. It was that I kind of had this shaking around inside like, uh, hmm, I think I'm really fucking angry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm really fucking angry. I don't like break shit. I want to like throw things, tear down walls. I don't want to like anybody. I would like to be very, very mad. It was like red. And then Peter and Nicole, they were like, that's OK. What? <laughs> this is the place where I like learned all the weird things, and nobody was normal. But then Peter's like, go out here in the garage. I put up a punching bag. Why? I've never even seen a punching bag. Well, he said, all of your feelings are important, and if you feel angry, can go out here and you can punch this thing all you want, anytime. And I did. I did. I punched the hell out of that fucking thing. <laughs> I was so fucking angry. But then 
something happened, and I realized I was just sad. And it was the first time I felt okay in two years. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.